Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and I'm going to bring you some uh, The Last of Us action. So, uh, this is going to be kind of a little bit of a different kind of video. So, just uh, bear with me on this, alright? Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? Yeah, for those of you who don't know what this game is, it's a kind of a it's a post-apocalyptic uh, zombie-ish type thriller, um, suspense-filled, wonderfully storyline-driven uh, action game, and it is fucking incredible. Daddy. So, yeah, here we go. We're looking for uh, she's looking for her daddy, and uh, I don't blame her, man. I've got a teenage daughter myself. For those who didn't know. So this game kind of hits home to me a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of talk here and there out throughout this. So just like I said, just check it out. There seems to be some commotion coming from. What was that? Oh snap! That looks pretty close. That's not good. We better find. You better find your daddy, girl. I mean. This is my daughter, and this was happening, man. I wanted to find me as fast as possible, man. Like, come on, come on, girl. Where's your daddy at? Shit's about to go down. It's already started to go down, so you need to. Whoa! Damn, this is not looking good for a small little Texas town. This is not what you want to see when you wake up, uh, probably around midnight or whatever time it is. It looks like it's the middle of the night, though. And, uh... his phone. Oh, look, it's Dad's phone. Eight missed calls. Where the hell are you? Yeah, it's two in the morning. Eight missed Holy calls. Text messages from uh, somebody. This is not looking good, is it? <laughs> Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Huh? What kind of holocaust is going on? Yeah, this is kind of just my quick review of what I feel is one of the... It, this game is a masterpiece. I mean, literally. I'll, I'll get into it a little while later. Oh, there we go. There's that. Here you are. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just just stand back there. Dad, Sounds you're good. kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Some ain't right with them. I, th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? <gasps> oh, shit. Jimmy? Dad? Honey, come here. Come here. He's infected. It's a zombie. Get the fuck. Oh, God damn. No. Oh, man. This is not good, folks. Shit. Better be fucking damn right I'd do that, too. I've got a gun. <laughs> you shot him. Sarah. Something this morning. Sammy, there is something bad going on. And we've got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tell me, come on. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, we gotta get our daughter out of here, man. Uh, like I said, this game hits home to me a lot as a father of a teenage daughter. Any idea what's going on out there? It, I got some. I mean, I've got three Holy kids, but so one of them is a teenage daughter. So. Blood all over you. Hey, man, let's just get I'd be scared here. shitless getting the fuck out. And say we lost their minds. Can we just please go? Some sort of parasite or something. Yeah, let's go, dude. Get in the fucking car. Let's go. Tell me what happened. God damn. This is scared the shit out of me. Up, I hope I grabbed enough bullets, man, for okay. Christ's sake. I mean, geez, it looks like we're leaving our house. I don't know when we're going to be back either, sure, so sir. let's get out of here. Let's hope we don't get stuck in traffic because I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. It always does in this kind of situation, so doesn't it? No radio. Damn it, dude. It's stuck in traffic, of course. Oh, shit. Here they come. Go. Let's get out of here. Dude, seriously. Holy shit. Oh man, this ain't good. Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa! Damn man, where are they running from? So we're going in the direction that they're running away from, huh? Okay, makes a lot of sense to me, but. You can't stop here, I can't fucking drive through them. Back up there! They're behind me too. There, there, there! Hold on, go! Jesus. All right, come on, bro. Oh sh! That's really not good, is it? <laughs> oh man, we're in trouble. Looks like we are in deep shit, aren't we? Daddy? Come on, wake your daddy up. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Hey. We go. Come on, come on. 
Look at that. There's a zombie or some infected person of whatever whatever this shit is is fucking ripping that guy to shreds. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Kick, kick. Come on. Come on, Joel. Anyway, I figure I have a second here to talk. Uh, this game is basically you play as Joel um, as you try to make your way through uh, an infected, uh, you, you know, world. Um, basically, you know, it's based in the United States. It's not the infected world, but we are the main character. You know, the main, uh... Dude, this game is oh, shit. Come on, bro. Fucking yeah. With a brick to the head. That was sick. I'm here, baby. But um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get into it a little bit. Hold on. You gotta see this cutscene. This 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 is the fucking intro to the game, and I'm telling you, this I cannot stress more that this is a masterpiece. This game is as good as it gets. If you haven't played it, if you have a PS3 and you have not played The Last of Us or bought it or rented it. Go do it, like, as soon as you're done watching this video, or as soon as you've got a minute, because this, you will not regret it, I promise you. You know, if you do regret it, uh, you can blame me. <laughs> I just, this has got to be game of the year, man. Oh, man, look at all this freaking, this is just not looking good. I mean, I live in a, if this happened in my town, if I was running through with my daughter in my arms and I saw shit on fire like this with my brother, well, I'm looking at me, brother, baby. but, I, this, Jesus, look at this, man. We're gonna get out of this. this is some scary shit. Let's move. Keep running. Run. Get that girl out of here. Come on, Tommy. Come on, bro. You gotta protect me, man. Oh, my God. Look at this. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're... Nah, let's, go. let's run through here, man. Dude, open the fucking door. Come on, Tommy. There we go. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Whoa, whoa! There we go. Nice. That's what bro's supposed to do, right? <laughs> and I fucking love this game. Oh man, it's addicting. Hey, it's so much fun. Like I get off work or whatever, I've got some spare time on my days off. I just like can't wait to sit and fucking play this shit. It's just fucking great. Get to the highway. Go, you got Sarah. I cannot run him. Run! Run! The fucking infected are everywhere! We're almost there. God damn. We don't run very fast, do we? <laughs> go, 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 go! Hot foot it, Joel. Run, run! Let's get our daughter out of here. I think she's got a broken leg, man. Just keep running. I hear zombies. Oh shit, I see a dude. He's all fucked up. You know what? Sorry, dude. I ain't got time to help you. I gotta help my kid, man. It's okay, baby. We're safe. We're safe. Hey, we need help. Stop! Please. It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Whoa. Calm down. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Come on, I gotta. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back man. Around, okay? Are you serious? Sure. A Dude, this is not looking good. But oh shit! Yes, sir. Somebody, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need. Whoa, whoa! Shh. No, come down! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, Fuck, am I hit? Is she hit? Oh shit! Fuck! Oh no! Please don't! <laughs> whoa! Way to make the save, boy. Yeah, that was. Oh, no. oh shit! No, Sarah. Oh no. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. God. If you're a parent like me, um listen to me, I know this hurts. Me. It'll be okay, baby. Stay with me. This would be hard to I don't I know, know what I would do. I'm, I'm I'm serious though. Come on, I kinda relate please. to these characters in, know, in a little bit in this game and Oh man. Sarah. I don't know what I would do, folks. Baby. Talk about a fucking intro to a game, huh? Don't do that. That ain't emotional to you a little bit? You know, at least just a little bit? Man. Oh, man. Oh, terrible. So from there, we get into the actual game. That was quite the fucking intro, though, wasn't it, though, huh? Now we fast forward about 20 years later into this, uh infected nightmare that has become the world 
you know, this has been done before. Many games have done this, but this one ha it has a different twist to it, and it is. F I'm yeah, coming. Like I said, I've mentioned a couple times, it is incredible. Mm. So I'm gonna get to some gameplay here in a second. So basically, this is Joel with uh, his new girl Tess. How was your morning? Uh, kind of as they go through, you know, trying to traverse their way through the world of infected fucking zombie mm -hmm. no. apocalypse mess, and. Uh, I'll get to some combat here just in a couple seconds, so hold on a second. Just well, I have some here we go, guys. For you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. I'd and want a fucking drink to too, make. damn. <laughs> we, we had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? But uh, basically, we're uh, and this this is a scene here where we're gonna have to deal with some human enemies. Um, you deal with humans or infected. Um, it, it I really don't want to give away too much of the story, so. Um, but here's just kind of an, an example of some of the action. And what the f... Woo-hoo! Mama! We got ourselves a hunting rifle. Now, now we're talking. But, uh, you know, supplies are limited. Weapons are limited. Ammo is limited. Um, it's an extremely fun game. Um, this is kind of an... I, I like to play this game stealthy. So, if you'll see here, there are four human enemies up ahead. And I'm going to kind of traverse my way through this area. This. Um, make my way through and... Try to get them taken out and uh, not let you know the people who are with me get hurt and not let myself get hurt at all and take out these douchebags because there are, believe it or not, a lot of enemies that are human as well. Uh, this game is full of human enemy encounters and zombie um, enemy encounters and little puzzles that are extremely easy to solve. They're not really a big deal at all. Um, this game, I, I wanted literally, I mean, oh, there we go. We got a victim. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sneak up on this. I'm about to get choke you out, dude. You want to get choked out? It's going to feel great. Yeah, yeah, you don't see me? No, 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 no. You're fucking done, boy. Oh, yeah. Now, you can stab them in the throat with a knife. But they're kind of like self-constructed knives. So they wear out. And, you know, limited supplies, I try not to use them. So that's one kind of just choke that guy out. Could have stabbed him in the throat with a knife. I should have showed that, maybe. But um, if you play the game yourself, you'll see what I'm talking about about the knives, dude. You kind of want to save those up and use them for more dangerous enemies, not just regular humans. Um, and they've got other uses as well. And here's another fucking guy. I'm going to hit you in the head with this brick, bitch. Ugh, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, break a brick over some dude's head. He ain't going to last too long. Oh, look, I found another brick. But, uh, yeah, you get all kinds of cool melee weapons. Um, there are, you know... Um, rifles, pistols, shotguns, uh, bow and arrow, uh, you can make homemade Molotov cocktails and explosives, all that good shit. I mean, this game is just full of fun. It is amazing. Like I said, I want to give it a 10 out of 10. And uh, here's your hearing ability, which will kind of allow you to see enemies through walls, which I don't really use too much because I think it takes away kind of some of the challenge in front of the game. But all in all, I want to give this game 10 out of 10. Graphics, uh, sound. Uh, gameplay, storyline is fucking top notch, as good as it can. Oh, you motherfucker, dude. You know what? I'm gonna blast you right in the face with this fucking rifle, dude. You're gonna get that shit right now, bitch. Uh, eat that motherfucker. But, uh, <laughs> that's about it for my, uh, my kind of interesting, different, uh, I want to make this video a little bit different because this game is a little bit different and is incredible. And, uh, you know, all in all, my review of this, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Just because I can't give it 10 out of 10 because it ain't perfect. But this is about as perfect as you can get. So, I love this game. Pick it up, guys. Peace out.